So you're thinking about moving to Alamo, California? Well, if you want to know all the things about Alamo and those pros and cons, we're talking about it today, so stay tuned. What's up, everyone? This is Rachel Papel with Keller Williams. If you want to know all things San Francisco Bay Area related, this channel is the one for you. We're going to teach you about living, learning, playing, and having a great time in the Bay. So click that subscribe button, tap that little bell so you can get notified each time we have a new video coming out each week. Big shout out to everyone that's been asking questions, leaving comments down below on the videos. We appreciate it. So if you want to keep knowing more about the Bay, just let us know. If you want to learn about moving, relocating, we got you covered. Just DM, PM, email, text message whatever you feel comfortable with we got you covered when we move to the bay all right so we're talking about the pros and cons of living in alamo california i'm a california native i grew up literally two towns over from alamo i had a girl friend in high school that we had you know five of us that we all hung out and so i've had plenty of good times in alamo california and danville so these towns i am an expert on to say the least so you're gonna wanna know all these pros and cons. I'm not gonna give all pros, I'm gonna give both sides. So stay tuned and let's get into this video. Okay, so pro numero uno. This is a biggie because if you're moving here, you're moving here for the family, okay? You're not gonna be single moving to Alamo, California. If you are single moving to Alamo, California, you're unique. And <laughs> it's not a bad thing, it's just you're unique because normal people come here because this numero uno is the schools are awesome. You're not gonna have to worry about private here. If private is your jam, I got plenty of schools I can introduce you to, but Alamo, California has a great high school, great elementary, great middle schools. You're gonna be able to drop your kid off and not have fear or worry about lack of education and a high you know, numbers for schools. So number one is great schools. Pro number one, great schools. Pro number two is it is super safe here. I mean, I I grew up here. I had many nights and fun times in Alamo. We really didn't do much. We were like knocking over cows. I mean, this is like, this is when I grew up, it was like a total country town. It might be a little bit different now, but it is super safe here. It's great for kids. You're not gonna have to worry about your kids playing. You're gonna have a great little community in the town. You know, like you're gonna know a lot of the people. It's a smaller community. We're looking at 15,000 people in this town. So, and you know, they're, you know, it's, it's just a really cute, tight community. So, super, so it's super safe. Okay, number three, the pros of uh, Alamo. And it's a really cute downtown. I mean, there's a cute little shopping center downtown, a couple, couple cute restaurants, little coffee shops. You're gonna be able to go downtown, feel really safe, have a nice cup of coffee with your buddy, you know, go for a ride, whatever. It's a really cute downtown. Um, it's small. It's not like, you know, Wanna Creek's bumping downtown, but it's cute and nice and it's quaint and you'll enjoy it. Number four. It is, like I said before, very family oriented. There are a lot of parks and it is nestled in the trees and the hills. So it's really beautiful. You're gonna drive around and see all those fall colors. You're gonna feel like, you know, you're in a, just a beautiful, beautiful town. And there's lots of family activities. You know, you've got tons of stuff that they, you know, Alamo and Danville work together to kind of have like the different parades. There are hikes to go on, you can bike. A lot of people like to bike around the tree line streets. You know, it's, it's just a really beautiful family oriented town that has great activities for families and just a lot of really cool things to do. It's a place that's like good old town America. You know, you're gonna enjoy the parades and the community things that they have going on and how beautiful everything is. Like oak trees, I think like there are oak trees everywhere. It's just so beautiful. It's part of like the town. Like it's, it's absolutely beautiful, so you'll enjoy it. So that's my fourth pro. Um, it's family oriented and beautiful. Okay, so on to the cons. <laughs> number one, con number one, it's a smaller community. So people will probably know what's going on. Or, you know, if you keep to yourself, maybe not, but oftentimes smaller towns, it's just quaint and people know stuff, you know? So if you don't want people knowing your business you can keep to yourself and live in this beautiful town or you can go to like san francisco or wanna creek where there's like two to three times the people at least <laughs> 
So that's con number one. It's a small town. And if that's not your jam, if you don't like that, it might not be the best place for you. Maybe get you a penthouse in San Francisco where nobody wants to see you or talk to you and can only come up if you say so. But I can help with that too. All right, so con number two, there's no nightlife really. It shuts down early. You're not looking at like the dance club fever, single life, cougar on the night town prowl. <laughs> You're not gonna get it here. You can go down to Danville or you can go to um, Awana Creek and Oakland. We got lots of cities where you can get on the prowl. But in Alamo, it's gonna shut down early. You are not gonna be like partying to the break of dawn here and police will patrol and make sure everyone's doing the, the right thing. So if that's not your jam, we gotta hit you up in Tawana Creek or maybe Danville. Danville's close. There's the little like cool kind of vibish downtown, down, downtown Danville, um, which I'm sure I'll do some videos on. But Alamo, it's a little bit of a snooze fest over here. It's family. We're not trying to like wake up all the babies and the kids. <laughs> We're trying to keep it down, ice block it out, cruise around the strips if you're a teenager like I did, and keep it simple. So not a bumping crazy life here in Alamo. So if that's not your jam, we gotta get you to Wanna Creek, potentially Danville. Mm, San Ramon's getting up there, or San Francisco. Oh, and also, there's not a ton of restaurants here. There's a couple cute ones. There's actually a couple really good ones. But like, if you want diverse food, it's not gonna happen too much here. You're gonna have to go to Wanna Creek. So, another side note. Now, con number three, on that note of not being very diverse in food, we're not gonna get a, the diversity of people here. So, on niche.com, which I love, it gave them a grade. Alamo got a grade up. C plus. C plus. Not so Benny. My dad would have made me take that class if I got a C in summer school. <laughs> Again, every year he would make me, if I got anything less than a B, I had to take it in summer school. It was like torture. But yeah, so here in Alamo, you're not gonna get a lot of diversity. It is what it is. You can go to Wanna Creek, you know, but real true diversity, you're gonna be getting that stuff in Oakland, Berkeley, San Francisco. Rockridge, we're talking, you want some cool food? Ethiopian food, Indian food, Moroccan food, Afghani food, like you gotta go to like Rockridge or down down basically 24, um, San Francisco. So you're gonna get some stuff here, it's good, but like niche.com says it, you just, it's C plus. So it is what it is. I personally, uh, I love all those different kind of foods, so I gravitate towards that, but I live close to kind of Rockridge, so um, I get to go to Rockridge really easily and it's so yummy. Um, but anyways, that is number three. Not too good on diversity, Alamo, California. All right, con number four. Uh, con number four is the walkability score is not great in Alamo. You don't have a BART station here. You can't really like walk downtown like you could to in Wanna Creek or San Francisco or Oakland. You know, you're gonna be driving here. So no BART station, not super close downtown. You could bike though. So walkability and biking is like, it's not so great. It is what it is. You're just gonna have to deal. You're gonna have to hop, skip over to Wanna Creek or head over to Oakland and San Francisco and just take BART. So con number four, not a lot of great walkability here, guys. Sorry, it is what it is. You're gonna pay to play, and you're gonna love cruising down those tree-lined streets and admiring the oak trees and having fun living in a beautiful place that is not congested with traffic. Unless you're trying to go downtown or drop the kids off. Now, if you drop the kids off at like 8.15, once we go back to normal, if we ever go back to normal from COVID, then you're gonna hit traffic. But for the most part, you're gonna be cruising down those tree line streets, enjoying life and loving not hearing the train. All right, so there you have it, the 411 on Alamo, California. If you wanna know more, reach out to us, DM, PM, email, text message, whatever you feel comfortable. We got you covered when moving to the Bay. And make sure to click that subscribe button, tap that little bell, give it the thumbs up, the video if you found value in it, and comment below. 
because we are happy to help out and educate you on the bay. In the meantime, have a great week and thanks so much for watching. Bye.